Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Auto Existence. Uh, so today in the garage, we're gonna continue work on our sim racing rig that we started on in the last episode. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, here we go, we're gonna go ahead and get started on all this. We have, we have lots to do, actually. We have, to, we have lots more to cut out. We have lots more to uh, upholster. Um, and hopefully we can get a lot done today. So here we go. When I start a woodworking project, I have this huge problem of making my garage an absolute disaster. The project eventually gets done, but I slow myself down towards the end uh, just with the clutter. So that's something I definitely need to work on. Um, part of that is going to come with me getting this garage a little bit more organized here in the future. So, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get go ahead and start finishing this. All right, now that all the pieces are cut, we can go ahead and begin assembly. So we're just gonna take that, and um, first thing I wanna do is actually carpet the base. So we're gonna go ahead and start that now. So I got this carpet material off of Amazon. Along with that, I actually have some vinyl as well. This is just like, kinda like, um, I just Googled subwoofer box carpet, and this is what came up. And this is the one that happened to be on Amazon Prime, so that's the one I got. <clears throat> so mind you, I don't really know anything about upholstery, but we're gonna give it a shot here. be able to go around so I have this the base upside down first um, because the what I'm going to be using to uh, what I'm going to be using to adhere this carpet to this wood is contact cement now contact cement what I'm going to be using here stuff is called uh, it's called wet weld wood and it's used for you know all sorts of stuff but one of it one of the uh, uses is carpet um, the key to this is that you have to let it dry before you stick it onto the product so you paint both surfaces with with the um, contact cement you let it dry and then you touch the surfaces and as soon as you touch them they're bonded permanently so uh, we're gonna try to be careful as well as uh, you know, make it look nice at the same time, so. Now for this particular type of uh, carpet, you don't have to use contact cement. You can just use regular adhesive. Really, this is probably better for vinyl, things like that but this is just what I have on hand. So 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry for about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, at that point, this should be, both sides should be very dry, but as soon as we touch them, we're gonna have adhesion. So we're gonna try and be really careful. All right, so now 15 minutes has passed. And uh, the best way to check how this, if this is dry or not is just to touch it. And uh, you shouldn't get any residue. Oh. You shouldn't get any residue on your hands. So that feels dry to me. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, touch these surfaces together. So see, as soon as you apply any pressure, so you gotta be kind of careful. And I just have this little couple dollar roller that I just got off Amazon. And just apply some pressure to this. And this is going to bond this permanently. I'm just going to go ahead and flip this over. Finished with it just yet, but we're gonna set it aside because we're gonna upholster the side pieces, these uprights. So I've I've done something a little bit different here and made some decorative pieces. Uh, so this is the main upright here, and what this is is this is the main structural component of this. Um, what I've done additionally is because I want to upholster these, I've built this piece also. And this is uh, just, I just used a flush trim router bit and cut this piece out using this as a template. And this is, this is three quarter inch MDF and the decorative piece is half, it, half inch MDF. And I've used a chamfer bit on a router to give it a nicer look. Obviously, I made some cutouts for the uh, bolts that are going to pass through onto the base. And what we're going to do, the reason why I built a decorative piece on top of this piece is because I want to upholster it. And I wasn't sure of a way I could upholster one piece with the carpet or vinyl. So this big part is going to be carpet and the decorative piece is going to be uh, covered in vinyl. So speaking of the vinyl, this is what I got. And this is just some vinyl for automotive uh, upholstery. I just bought it off of eBay. And uh, it has a pretty nice look to it. And it's, it's only a one-way stretch, so it'll stretch this way, but it won't stretch very much this way. This is what we have to account for while wrapping these pieces. I'm not super experience in um, upholstery. I've upholstered some subwoofer boxes back in the day, but uh, that was a long time ago, so it's a little different. And I've actually never used vinyl, so. So you wanna give yourself some extra material. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna trace this close.
set that seat piece aside. So now you can see where we need to put the glue. back on or we're, we're back with this glue now that the glue is dry you can tell it's dry when you touch it, it doesn't you don't get any residue so what we're going to do now is we're going to flip this onto it Now you can see that chamfer, how nice that shows up. I think that's gonna end up pretty nice. These two pieces, mind you, I still have to add a little backer piece. It's kind of hard to see here, but you can see how I have that part carpeted, this part vinyl wrapped. Ends up looking really nice. I'm going to put a piece here. This is what I wanted to do. Really show off here these things. This obviously is going to get upholstered. But it's coming together. This is just a mock-up right now. It's just clamped together, but I just have to um, upholster the last couple pieces, and then we'll go ahead and um, see if we can start screwing some of this together. See how good this bottom turned out. But now we're gonna secure that uh, the footboard on there, or the pedal board.
See, all these screws are going to be hidden. All right, so now we're going to adhere to the uh, decorative piece now that it's fully assembled. I just have some construction adhesive. And we're essentially, we're just going to glue this together. So let's take a look, see how it works. Thank mm -hmm. you. 